Hello, one and all, and welcome to our brand new series here on the Hidden Realms YouTube channel, Race to the Battle of the Bands. We've been very excited for a long time to bring this series to you, but before we start, let me just tell you a little bit more about it, because it's really cool. Race to the Battle of the Bands was born from this desire to bring in a ton of new creatives of all levels of experience with D&D &D onto the channel. We've got some amazing people. I cannot wait for you to see what they can do. Uh, incredible role play stuff. Uh, and also this desire to expand what we can do with the storytelling engine that is Dungeons and Dragons. That being said, Race to the Battle of the Bands is not one, not two, but three consecutive campaigns, all connected and will eventually be intertwining with one another as we follow these three bands as they compete and grow from humble beginnings all the way to the heights of popularity when they face one another eventually in the titular Battle of the Bands. We're going to be releasing episodes from all three of these campaigns weekly, so you can check out all of them and keep going with all of them, or you can pick your favorite and follow them and root for them all the way through until the Battle of the Bands. We're so excited to show you this series, and so without further ado, let me get out of your face. Enjoy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Hidden Realms channel. I am your humble dungeon master, Joshua McGregor. I am joined by Callum Cox. Yo. <laughs> uh, and uh, Lily Grindrod. And Daisy Grindrod. Amazing. Um, guys, we'll go around, uh, introduce your character, uh, and what the little bit of what they look like and what their deal is uh, as members of this band. We'll go, we'll go around. Uh, Callum, why don't you introduce your character for us, please? He's called Theremin, which is a... Uh a musical instrument that you can control without having to touch. And that is like his special ability. He can create uh, a keytar a out of nothing and play the keytar. And he's, wow. um, he's exceptionally good at it because he sold his soul to the devil in a very cliched kind of rock star way. Uh, the devil actually is his dad. Um, Beelzebul? Beelzebul? Beelzebul. Thank you. <laughs> the D and D knockoff version of Beelzebub. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, he's also just really uh, he's a narcissist. He's selfish. He just wants to be um, powerful and be uh, ultimate rock star, basically. And the only person in the world that he does actually care about is his mum. He's got a little mum oh. tattoo. Oh, it's precious, <laughs> so sweet. Um, I don't know what else to tell you, really. He's uh, got magical, he's a warlock. He's got magic powers. I mean, how could I You don't I have to tell us too much if you want yeah, to hear yeah, things. Yeah. That's, that's uh, perfect. Uh, that's perfect. Uh, thank you kindly. Uh, Lily, why don't you tell us about your character? So I am playing a tabaxi rogue. Uh, her name is Cloud on the mountaintop, but she just goes by Cloud because she's very new to this plane. Uh, she sort of wanders between worlds, trying to find her tribe that's been lost in her home world. Um, she absolutely detests anything that isn't nature. So houses, doesn't matter whether they're made out of straw or twigs, she'll complain if she has to stay in one. She um, is very much cat-like. So... Um, if she sees like a ball of wool, she'll go after it. She's very distractible. She hates rain. Everything, you know, you'd expect a cat to do. If she sees like a human made pot, like a very ceramic, beautiful pot, she'll just pat it off a side like a cat would. So she'll just cause havoc. She um, is chaotic neutral. So she'll say she'll like kill a leader of um an oppressed tribe but someone else who's worse takes some power she's like i helped it's up to them walk away um so she is an outlander by background so she gets a musical instrument and she has a little leer that she carries but she plays with her tail not her paws um very cool she's very protective of her friends that is one thing with her because she sees them as family so Everybody in her band, she will protect, even though 
it might be from the sidelines. So if they are doing something she doesn't particularly, you know, agree with, she might try and do something different to be like, no, we should do this instead. It's safer. And that is all I'm going to tell you about her. Thank you kindly. Okay. Daisy, would you mind telling us a little bit about your character? Yes. So I'm playing Thesia. She is a Yantai pureblood. Um, so she is snake in appearance. Um, she's very feminine, very slim. Um, she lived deep in like forest jungle in the temple. Um, but she was sent out by the priests as a little um, mission for their god. Uh, she decided to join the bards. Um, she is a bard by class. Uh, she decided to do that because she needed to eat. Uh, obviously, food was very readily available in her home area. So how to lure people, which is <laughs> playing musical instruments, become very charismatic. Um, so she would do like dodgy gigs um, and just lure people in and eat them. Uh, she views people, she's a uh, neutral evil, she views people as you're a friend, you're a threat, or you're food. Um, so the people she is around in the band are considered friend and food. Uh, you are there to help her. If you do not help her, you are food. Um, uh, so yeah, she's, uh, she has a couple of outfits. She's very glamorous. She likes luxurious things in life um and uh yeah so she will eat you if you piss her off <laughs> noted <laughs> she plays a pan flute and also has a bag of snakes improvised <laughs> and also has a bag of snakes <laughs> as a bag of snakes <laughs> um absolutely glorious uh you guys have yet to settle on a band name but this is completely ordinary because your band has been put together in uh, relatively recent uh, days. Uh, the capital of Garendia, which is the, uh, the uh, kingdom in which our story takes place, is called Garenseal. It's a big metropolis uh, center of trade, not only for the kingdom, but for the entirety of the world. Uh, and it is here that there was a big announcement that this year's Battle of the Bands, which is an annual event, was going to be a little bit different. The prize pool has been increased quite significantly. The band who wins gets a prize of one million gold pieces. Oh. Naturally, this has meant that there is an uptick in numbers of bands being put together. Um, and... Uh, and so lots and lots of people are getting together uh, with musical talent and getting together with people uh, to form unique and interesting bands and then going out and doing these tours around the, the little towns around the country of Garendia uh, in a little loop that will bring them back to the capital for the titular Battle of the Bands. The gnome manager person who has taken you on is known as Dylan. Dylan Oom Travel. <laughs> and when he approached you, you, you guys have gotten to know him a little bit. He's basically confessed that the reason he is a band manager is because his cousins, both have, who have an incredible rivalry with one another, uh, have both decided to make their own bands, and he just wants to be included. So... <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, he's always left out and they're always like bit, they're bitter rivals one of them uh, is called Zachariah um, and the other one uh, so Zachariah and Cody Bilbron are always going at each other uh, and they one of them is a wizard the other one is uh, a sorcerer uh, and they they have had a lifelong rivalry and Dylan just wants to be included and he's always just wanted to be included. And uh, so, so Dylan has decided to put together a band and you three devilish, <laughs> bestial, 
crazy people are the guys that he's found to be part of his band and he doesn't quite know what to do with any of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he'll be Seems like, uh, right, so I have booked us a gig uh, in the first of our towns on our, our circuit. Uh, there will be 10 towns in the circuit before we get to the Battle of the Bands. Uh, and the first is in the town of Oddmore. Um, and so it's a couple of days travel outside of the capital uh, as you make your way northwest of the city, uh, past the, the fields and, and um, sort of farmland areas around, around the main city, uh, into sort of boggy moorlands. Uh, and this is... Is it wet? Is the ground very more, wet? The, the ground is very wet. I instantly um, okay. try and climb Theremin. Instantly try and climb him. So I'm not anywhere near boggy water. You guys are in, there is an actual, like, <laughs> there's a, like, a horse-drawn, like, wagon that you guys are traveling I, in, Skyrim I get on style. top of it. I just get on top of it as yeah. far away <laughs> from the ground as possible. On Nobody all fours, like, be. claws in the, the, the top of it. Nowhere near the ground. Glorious. <laughs> um, and uh, um, Dylan is like, oh, we should get a tarp and put it over us so we don't get rain gone. Um, yes, very good idea. Yes. yes, yes, I understand. You don't like water. I know this much. I know this much about <laughs> pleasing my band members. Just, I just give him like a deadpan, like glare, like should have thought of this beforehand. You knew we were coming here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next time I won't be so forgiving. I don't know what I've gotten into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> What's the title of the, the thing? Um, you guys arrive in Oddmore. It's a small uh, enough town with a few um, sort of main features that you see as you come um, as you come through. So it's a, it's sort of houses. There's a main um, tavern, which is where you guys are headed, uh, which is called the Good Barrel. Um, there, but you also pass by a couple of uh, shops that seem slightly odd. You pass by one very, very dilapidated shop, doesn't look like anybody works there anymore, called Madam Mad's Augury Auction. Um, which looks Ooh. like a run-down divination shop of some description. Um, and then another uh, sort of closed-off uh, shop called M&M's Emporium of Wiggly Wax. And, and then the, the tavern, which is called The Good Barrel. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> um, you don't so want a bad are, barrel. Don't want a, no, don't want exactly. a bad barrel. That's exactly right. <laughs> um, and sort of Dylan goes right. So we'll uh, we'll stay the night in the inn. Sort of it's getting dark. Um, the night that you arrive, like, we'll stay the night in the uh, in the inn, and then tomorrow evening is when we're set to do our performance. Um, or you rather will perform your 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 set. Uh, as it were, uh, and sort of you guys can disembark and uh, and go into the tavern. It's a very lively atmosphere uh, inside. Uh, this seems to be the ha the main hangout place where people go, and uh, especially in this sort of season where a lot of bands come through doing their sets, uh, people spend a lot more time here because they know that travelers such as yourselves will come and do. Uh, and and do some musical performances for them. Uh, behind the bar are two halflings who seem to be the proprietors of this uh, of this establishment. Um, nobody is currently performing, but there's a sort of a raised area over uh, on one end of this large ground floor. And now I leave it up to you guys. What would you like to? Uh, Just quickly, Callum, did you say what your race was? Sorry. Tiefling. Is that Tiefling. right? Tiefling. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. That's correct. 
perfect. They're gonna stick out like sore thumbs. Yep. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking, like we don't get to look normal, are we? So here's the thing about that. I'll I'll address that right off the bat. Gorendia as a country is technically a human country, but it is the center of trade for all of the kingdoms of the world, which means you're gonna see people from all over the place. Um, okay. around. It's far less likely that you'll see races such as Yuan T. Um, <laughs> and Tabaxi are straight up not a race in this world. So you guys will still yeah. stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> yeah. Um, to our advantage. Probably to your advantage if you can strong. Mm. Um, well, there you go. go. There you go. If so I just one, wanted to wanted to address that fact. Um, certain okay. certain races are are less uh, prevalent, such as Drow, Dwergar. Um, okay. Dragonborn, they have their own nation in the south. They are very sort of secretive, keep themselves to themselves. But uh, all kinds of, you know, Goliaths, Genazi, uh, people, people all over the place come through and around Grandia. Okay. So tieflings are not going to stand out as much as they perhaps would in other D and D settings. But, uh, but, I just, but I just me and Daisy will. Yeah, you got horns. So have you got a tail? <laughs> oh, do I? I don't know. Would you like a tail? It's up to you. Yes. yes you have please. a tail. <laughs> right. <laughs> with a plectrum on the end. Yeah. And the, the tail has got a plectrum and I can play with okay. it. Okay. I follow you around the bar trying to play with your tail. Just constantly trying to bat it. Just, you know, like how cats do like, just like completely crazy. Just trying to follow your tail around. Cool. That's well, all I'm, I'm distracted by. I'm away with my tail. I just, I just go with it. With my paws, like as a toy. I'm That's just looking I'm at them, and I, my like tongue like flicks out to like taste the angers. I just nod. I hear that and go, ah, interesting. And go back to the top. Just go back to playing. Instantly. Dylan, just note the tongue and go back to playing. Note the tongue. D uh, <laughs> Dylan turns to you, Thesia, and uh, and just kind of goes, weirdos, right? Right. I just lick my lips like, mm, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go get normal. myself a strong I'm drink. <laughs> when I hear him say like, weirdos, right? I'm like, perfectly normal if you don't mind. And go back to playing. <laughs> yeah, literally that's what I do. If, unless you tell me to stop, that's what I'm gonna be doing for quite a while. Um, I'm gonna do uh, what is it called? Bear with me. Bear with me. There's not a bear with me. <laughs> Thamagotry. 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 And I'm going to yeah. put you in the dark for a little bit. You don't I've have... got dark vision. That's, first of all, magical darkness would not allow dark vision. And second of all, you don't have darkness yet. Fair enough. Level five is when you get that. I mean, I wasn't going to do that anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I can actually do, apart from... You can just, just literally, yeah, I just think, tell me to I just, stop and I'd probably go and find something else that's more interesting. Yeah, okay. Stop it. Okay. Fine. Final swoop. Fine. I just go... <laughs> I go sit next to you, but not close enough to still play with you, but I'm just, like, keeping an eye on your tail. So if you, like, move it, yeah, I just... might... I just might. I'm just a moody bugger that just wants to be left alone to drink and uh, to be really like. Yeah, no, Cloud doesn't get that. She's not used to being around other races, so she doesn't understand that. So she just sits there and stares at you. Makes you really <laughs> uncomfortable as well. I kind of join them, but I also want to be like in the dark corner, like dark and bruising, just like watching everybody. So you are all trying to find a dark corner to be broody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. to brood. <laughs> Let me brood in peace. <laughs> just typical evil character, just brooding in or the corner. Or just like a complete emo teenager, just like... Mm. <laughs> be the angsty group, that should be our band name. Just angst. angst. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who looks your way just sees this dark corner, and out of this dark corner are a pair of devil eyes, a pair of cat eyes, and a pair of snake eyes <laughs> staring <laughs> out of the darkness. <laughs> Can I, can I see how many people are actually staring at us, like, in this tavern? 
please give me a perception check. Oh, I don't want to be the first roll. You are the oh. first roll oh. of the game. But if oh. anybody yeah. else would like to join, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. Well, we, perception. We have... Oh. Yeah. Do oh, give a perception no. check. What's the, so roll 20? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, it's a 14. I rolled 14. a 12 with a plus 2. I rolled a 13. Oh, 14. 14 as I rolled, well. I rolled a 5, so I see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you look out and you see lots of food. Just lots of food. Mm. <laughs> That's its value. Right. There you go. Okay. Um, I immediately pig out. <laughs> <laughs> no, Callum, Callum uh, Lily. Uh, sorry, Theremin and uh, Cloud, you guys look around and see you're definitely getting a lot of like side looks and def there's like conversation that is probably about you where people are like, people are like looking at you and then saying like, I don't know who these guys are. Just kind of going um, you know that the population in here is uh, a lot of halflings, um, okay. sort of halflings and humans. Uh, seem to make up the the majority of uh, of people. There are a couple of dwarves uh, as well. Sorry, a halfling's like um, a Frodo. hobbit. Yes, like your hobbit. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Precisely. Easy food. <laughs> easy, easy food. <laughs> Pray, yes. Yeah. Uh, Josh is great at this decision. I. Yeah. No, this is good. If, the more off the rails a story goes, the more fun it becomes. That's just. I mean, the yeah. manager's right? a gnome, so. Your manager's a gnome. <laughs> yeah. To kind of really wipe that up. Is like the cheapest drink in the bar. Oh, sort of like coppers would be the cheapest drink in the and bar. So, for the people that are in the bar staring at us, how much would it cost to buy them all around? Everyone. Everyone. That's what I'm wondering. I'm gonna make a roll to determine how much oh, I am, because chaos is king. Chaos it's is gonna king. It's gonna be five gold to buy everybody right, buy... the cheapest gold, the cheapest drink. Right, anyone that's staring at us, I go up to the bar <coughs> really loudly and be like, "A round for everyone!" Like that is a power just... move. That absolutely. <laughs> just because I want them to like us, I've noticed that they're staring. Cloud doesn't like that. She doesn't like attention like that, like in a negative way. So she just wants no attention. So the best way is to buy everyone a drink. So I love attention. So I just like down drinks really loudly. And I say uh, one round, one round for everyone. Yeah. I down my one. drink. You down your drink. <laughs> I down my drink. Fantastic. So I'm going to down these. On the table. Need... <laughs> yeah, bam! Another. <laughs> like cool. Yeah. Breaking whatever the drinking thing is. Lily, can you give me a persuasion roll with advantage, please? Right, that's another d20. Have I got... Here's a d20. Let's wait. Oh no, it's charisma. It is charisma. We have two charisma based characters in one row. 14. 13 14. plus 1, 14. Fantastic. And that was with advantage. Oh no, that wasn't. That was just. There you go. My what is advantage? Sorry. Twenty unnatural twenty. Glorious. Uh, advantage oh. is when you roll a d twenty twice and take the highest one. So yeah, okay. I got a thirteen and I've got a plus one. So I rolled a thirteen, which would be a fourteen. I just rolled a nineteen, which would be a twenty. Okay. So you got plus cool. one. Um, with that unnatural twenty, I. Uh, Drinks go out to everybody, and everyone's like, hey, this weird cat person's all right. <laughs> That's and I just moment. join in. I just join in joking and laughing with whoever, like, comes up to me and talks to me. Great. Yeah, uh -huh. there, you, get some, you get some conversation going. How um, much gold or copper was that? Five gold. Five Do you know how perfect. much money we have? So I've that's... got 22 gold at the moment, so I'd have 17. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm going to say, Callum, oh. you've got 15 gold. Thank you. Go. Hey. Um, yes. So the way that money works in this world is um, one gold is 10 silver coins. And one okay. silver coin is 10 copper coins. Okay. So one copper is worth a one hundredth of a gold. Right. 
so a million gold pieces is a lot. <laughs> I'm still going to ask you because I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> uh, of course. Yeah, 100%. Um, there, are other, there are other kinds of pieces as well. There's a platinum piece, which is worth 10 gold pieces. So is every Ooh. 10 money tool, like copper, silver, is the equation to the one of the next? Yeah, so 10, of, yeah. 10 yeah. of each one leads to one of the next. Right, and That's okay. just the way it goes. Um, ignore Electrum pieces. Ignore them. Uh, I don't have currency. that on my sheet. Uh, it's EP on your sheet. Oh, okay. I'll just put a line through it. Yeah, so I know. just, oh, just it, ignore it. It's a specialty currency that is used to buy uh, especially powerful magic items in the capital. We will not use it for now. <laughs> For now, that's positive. I'm taking Indeed. that as a positive. It is positive because I mean, eventually you'll get stronger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I finally get spells. Right, you're going arcane I... trickster route. I forgot about that. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna have magic hand and steal from the crowd. That's my Mage plan. Hand. Right, because you get mage hand. That's the one with ledger the man, which is the invisible mage hand. Invisible it's... one. <laughs> yeah. It just can carry. Just pocket everything oh it's so cool i know got so many plans if we get to that stage i've got so many plans we will we'll get there we'll get there um fantastic and uh callum you are downing your drinks i'm going to need you and you'd be so kind Thanks. to make a constitution check so what yeah. you're going to do is you're going to roll a d20 and then add the okay. modifier that you've got to your constitution uh score. 18 plus where am I? Along the side, it's... Oh, it's down. Zero. So, 18. 18's really zero. good. 18, <laughs> 18's really good. You, you can handle your alcohol. Oh, hell yeah. Cloud seeing how he's downing the drinks. She'll go back for one more pat of the tail, just to see where he's at, like, whether he's a bit tipsy, ignores it, or whether it's just, like, a no-go. It's okay. He starts to like it a little bit now. So he's had a few. Oh, she'll just do it. She'll still like be jovial with like the other people in the bar, but every so often she'll go over and just do swipe and then go back <laughs> and swipe going back. Um, absolutely brilliant. Uh, the proprietors um, come over and uh, Dylan's kind of leads them over and they kind of go, right, hello, we're, um, our names are Eddie and Bobbin and we are the uh, proprietors of this year's establishment. Uh, the Good Barrel. We understand that you guys are going to be uh, entertaining us tomorrow night. Yes, that's correct. Hell yeah. Oh, that's very kind. That's very kind indeed. Now, uh, if you don't have a band name as of yet, that's completely fine. But do you want a, a placeholder name so that we can advertise that you guys will be playing tomorrow? Catnip. What should we do, guys? The Cat put catnip down. Catnip. And we'll, we'll, we'll tell you. No, catnip. we'll tell them the band name later. No, but why not? Okay. No, I, I just give you like a dead stare. Like, <laughs> you want to go against like me with us. my charisma? Are you sure about that? <laughs> no, it's just like it they the, need uh, they need to like us. You should call it the theremin experience. <laughs> I just look at you. I don't know what a theremin is, by the way. I just know my lyre, so my I name. look at you really strange. Like, yeah, well, but why are you in there? Because I'm the front you? man, obviously. We're gonna have to I just growl, like a deep growl, like... But look at my hair. You have horns, not hair. He's got hair too. I do oh, have has a he mullet. got hair? Yeah, you got you hair. You have a mullet. I've got a black mullet, yeah. Mm. He looks very, very snazzy. Very snazzy, just, snazzy too. Okay. Can I, I look like someone from Piss that was like, with like face paint and stuff. I want to make a kind of check that would like whether Cloud would know whether sort of his look would be like almost like people would like us more if we had someone so edgy as a like a front man but I don't know whether she'd know make me an intelligence check just straight intelligence if you I'm can. pretty dumb <laughs> please make the check <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. no I'm not actually it's wisdom, no intelligence, I'm fine. Ah. <laughs> no? No. What'd you get? Seven. Seven? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you honestly can't tell if 
a race that nobody's ever seen before, a crazy <laughs> snake person, or a beautiful tiefling in face paint would be the right front man. You don't know. It does, it's not clear. Don't know. So I just, I just continue staring like... Can I do my... Maybe uh, like give a little sniff like... Would you like to do, um, Cal, would you like to do a persuasion check? Oh, okay. Sure. To make it the theremin experience. 16. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Persuasion, wait, is there a... Do I have to add are you... Oh, you add, it? yeah, you add uh, what you have next to persuasion to that role. Good night. Oh, it's charisma. Four. So 20. 20. So that's an unnatural 20. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that Cloud, you, um, you're not, you're not sure practically, but, but he makes we'll put a it good down argument. <laughs> but like for now, I'm like, yeah, fine. I turn, sure I, I turn really to the proprietor. Name. I think no, I just wanted I to, to kind of check instead of balance. catnip, just put the ceremony experience <laughs> and walk away. Like still not sure, but I still walk away like. <laughs> Okay, Fine. to be continued. To be to be continued. It's a it's a conversation to to continue for us to continue to have. Yeah, just um, for a name, just to put down, so we have yeah, a room, yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, place, placeholder, placeholder name. Uh, they go right. That's very good. Uh, we'll uh, we'll put down the theremin experience. Um, uh, yeah, great. Will. We're looking. We're we're very much looking forward to that. Uh, is there anything else that you guys? Uh, you guys need, uh, we, we've got uh, rooms that you can stay in for free if you guys are going to be performing for us. That brings in a lot of uh, business. So that's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all sorry. We sorted that with your manager. Uh, What's for food? What's for food? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, that's a very good question for, for, for you yourself. What, uh, what do you prefer? Fish. Beer, <laughs> fish and beer. Uh, we've got we've got some fish. We can we can make you we can fry up some fish. That's no problem. No raw 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 fish. Even easier. So it's free. It won't be it won't be free, but well, you said it's easier. It'll be less expensive than frying it. No, I asked them if they we'll have a rat problem. The if they have a rat problem. <laughs> Yes. Um, give me a second to find out. <laughs> Turns out they don't have a rat problem. <laughs> In that case, I'll have rat. We, but we just, we don't have any rats, actually. You we, can it, share it, my oh, fish. No, I thought you meant they didn't have a problem with the rats. The rats taste fine. Oh, right. No, what we meant was we don't have like an infestation. I'm, I'm being, sorry, I'm being silly. <laughs> So how I just nod. Yeah, I just turn to you, uh, Theseus, and go. You should always look on the street. It looks quite dirty, man-made. Oh. I'm above there. that sort of thing. No streets. A snake thief boy. I didn't think you were, but fine. And I just walk back, like knowing I, I've offended her. She's like, fine. My idea wasn't good enough. Back. You don't want to get eight. No, I don't want to get eight. Nom, 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 nom. I can tell you all get along very well. You seem like a like a great group of friends in this band here. That's the thing. Cloud doesn't trust them at all until she's sort of got to know them a little better, and then mm -hmm. she will protect them. But at the moment, she's with a snake person, and what she sees as a demon. So <laughs> she's a little yeah. bit like. Mm, I just need you guys to come out. I can become a rock star. And then, uh, uh, I'll it is worth me. It's worth yeah. me saying, just for the sake of D and D ness, uh, Callum, um, that devils are from the nine hells, and demons are their sworn enemies from the abyss. Oh, what? Which one? Which one is two things that devils. they made packs with de devils? Yeah, devils. Call devils. me a demon. Right. So I'm just well, I'm just, yeah, just clarifying. <laughs> For but anybody Cloud wouldn't really know the difference. She would just call you whichever she felt like calling you. So yeah, I take offense. It's yeah, it's one of those it's one of those things that's racist, but like it, most people don't know the difference. Yeah, Cloud wouldn't. <laughs> she would just think they're both from like the hells. So 
which is not true, but... <laughs> no, it's a cloud mind. Yeah, exactly. Like, she was so young when her home planet was, like, destroyed that she just sees them as the same, basically. Yeah. But they're not. For D&D's sake. There you go. There you go. Just wanted to... There you there, go. There, 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 Little bit of backstory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but also, Theremin, she would start growing to you the more that you'd let her play with your tail. So you'd see her sort of it's... scooting over closer to you rather mm-hmm. than, There- like, uh, Thesea. She'd sort of, like, don't, don't like that one. Just, you let me play with your tail. I've got, well, Every okay. so often she'd, like, flick you with hers as well. Um, just see whether you'd play. Thesea. Do we know? Yes. Do we uh, have you told us what instrument you play? Pan Ooh. flute. Pan flute. Yes. So we've got a pan flute, a guitar, and a lyre. Is that right? A lyre, yeah. A lyre, yeah. <laughs> What's a lyre? So it's like a really small harp with like a flat bottom. Oh, cool. So what Cloud yeah, yeah. will do is she'll place it on the ground or whether a, there's a table available, and she'll play it with her tail. Okay. That's what she'll do. Cool. That's why she's so obsessed with like tails and things that move quickly because she's just like, oh, what's this? What's this? Um, brilliant. Uh, in this, in this uh, tavern, there's one other person of, of uh, interest uh, who, may, who may potentially catch your eye. Um, this is a, uh, a dwarf with uh, a top hat um, and a bow tie. Uh, and if you, uh, in conversation, were to ask around, this is the mayor of the town. Uh, this, uh, this dwarf, um, who is called Eberk Burrowfound. Is it U or O, Eberk? Uh, I will Sorry. put in the thing. That's okay. Thank you. I'm just making notes. There you go. Thank you. Neither. Uh, it's an E. It's there. an E. Yep. <laughs> Eberk Burrow found. Uh, Eberk. Who is the Who is the mayor? Uh, the mayor. Who's the mayor of this town? Uh, oh wow. There you go. Um, uh, and the mayor would be like, "I'm I'm sure we we gotta have something on tonight. We got you know these guys are, are have just arrived and they're gonna play tomorrow. That's fine." We got some local boys who could who could do something just to just to uh, just to yeah. fill the fill the bar with some with some sound and some local half legs are like yeah sure and they 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 get out some uh, instruments and go up on stage and uh, I'm gonna roll some performance checks. No, <laughs> oh, no the DM rolling is always dangerous. It's competitive. This is just, this is just I know. We have to interrupt them. their performance somehow. We have to, we have to interrupt. <laughs> there. Can't go to be on. fair, one of my flaws is um, to any challenge, violence is my answer. Lily, no. This is, this is a challenge. <laughs> this is a challenge on our experience and our validation as performers. <laughs> the mayor will come up to you guys and go, Are we still? This, is, this is specifically not <laughs> a challenge to you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, he could probably hear me be like, this is a challenge, we must stop them. Like... And I've, I've got to remind you that we still need to gig here tomorrow as well. So you want to come back. So we just need to blow them away somehow. Maybe distract attention from the other band. You... Maybe we play like a little sample. I think so. We should get up on the table and have an impromptu, yes. a gig at the other gig. So a gig off. Like a gig rivalry. Guys, like, yeah. would you like to have your first band off? Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have some like catches I could use. <laughs> I, I have daggers I could use. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just go and stab the other. Um, <laughs> Sneak attack them like spoons. So the way, like this is, <laughs> the way this is going to go is um, I'm going to get each of you. We're we're all going to. Um, we're going to do something uh, which is usually reserved for combat, which is called rolling initiative. Mm-hmm. Um, so if everybody rolls a d20 and adds their dexterity modifier to the roll and tells me what they get, oh. order 17. Go. 17. <gasps> oh, no. I got a two. 
Where's the uh, dexterity? Dex is the second one down. I've got, I've got four. Four? Ten. <laughs> Ten? Ten. Ten. Happy days. Um, there you go, uh, This is going to be humiliating. Do we get up and try and gig and then realise that we've never actually played together before? Pretty much, and but we, we do it in turn. So start. whoever's got the highest... Uh, initiative will go first and it will go second, third, whoever's got the ah, highest in right. order. Okay, so these guys, these guys, there are also three, there are three uh, halflings in this band. Um, and they, they get up on stage. Are you guys getting up on tables? Yes. Yeah, we, we make our own stage. I'm not. I'm putting my leer on the table. I'm not getting up on it. So you're like in front of it. In front of the, no, I'm behind, of the tables? It. behind the table, so you nobody no, can see sorry, you. No, sorry, I'm in front. I'm in front of the table, but the lid's behind me. Sorry. That's what I. That's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and you guys do this, and everybody uh, goes like, "Ooh, the people in town are going to throw down." Um, I sort of cough and go, "Free drinks." <laughs> it behind me. It sounds like these guys are thirsty. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you all get a round of free drinks. Um, oh shit! Is that another fall. like five gold? No, from no, no. Me? No, no. People, people give you free drinks this time round. Oh, brilliant! There you yes. go. See, I think when uh, Thesia drinks, she's like, she knows she has to try and be normal, like human. So she goes to sip it, but like snakes just put their entire like mouth in water <laughs> and their cheeks go. Yeah. So she kind of sips and goes. It just holds it to her mouth for a very inhuman amount of time until it's down, but her cheeks are going. Cloud doesn't care. She'll like lick it like a cat, like, like so proper, like from the glass. People think that Thesia is downing her drinks in a really <laughs> yeah. weird way and think <laughs> yeah. that Lily is taking her like sweet time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just breathe mine in basically. Just Yeah. <laughs> One, one thing people are like, whoa! <laughs> that guy might as well be amphibious. Kind of band. Uh, glorious. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the order, and um, and have a little, uh, have a little band off. A little um, riff off, yeah. A little riff off. Uh, Cloud, you are the first to act. Would you please describe what you, uh what you are doing for your performance right. and then give a performance check as your turn. Okay, so I think what I would do is put the leer behind me, but play with my tail, but very obviously, like she's not hiding it. She'd go for one of her daggers, like intimidating, like I'm not playing, like don't mm -hmm. start with me. But no, it's not the right situation. So still play, but just hold her dagger. In that case, instead of a performance, can you give me an intimidation check, please? Of course I can. God. That's not much better, but it's fine. Where is it? Uh, what is intimidation? Well, mm, plus charisma, which is... That's an 18. That's an 18. Seven In plus, uh, 17 plus one. Oh, wow. Um, as your music plays forth, um, everybody like hushes down to see like what everything what's going on. It's very beautiful as well. It's like mm. really calm and really soft, almost as if it's coming from the forest itself. It's very, you know, just very calming to everyone that's in there. Except for the person <laughs> whose eyes you are meeting with yours, yeah. holding no, a dagger. Lead, it's, it's the lead person, so everyone else is really calm. The lead person I'm looking at, like, don't, don't fuck with us. <laughs> they are going to, they are going to make their performance check with disadvantage because you are intimidating them. But they are going to start playing. Um, they've got a viol, which is sort of a, a deep violin. Um, there you go. And they're I mean, going uh, to. Um, so they get a, they get a ten. So while this isn't, while they're not, they're not. Um, they're not completely crap. They, yeah. uh, they uh, definitely are thrown off. Yeah, a little bit yeah. shaky as they start to lay down uh, their uh, violin uh, or viol uh, track as the music starts to grow on either side. Thesia, you are next. So um, I kind of stand on the table because her 
performance outfit is more like a belly dancer so it's a deep purple like bra and like a uh, flowy kind of see-through material so she can't, starts kind of swaying to what cloud is playing but also i'd like to use prestidigation my cantrip and um one of my effects is a shower of sparks above me 100 percent. so i'm just like this uh, i don't i decide not to play um so i just kind of like sway and dance and try and entice people to be more focused on us fantastic i will i will ask for that performance check if you'd be yes sorry. of course it is an 18. yeah um <laughs> it's, it's good it's good what you do people are definitely looking over at you guys um and it's like oh wow okay <laughs> Is the is the response sexy snake woman? Yeah. Just a quick snake question: snake When we were when we were riding in, did we like so? Obviously, they had like a few magic shops, but did anybody look very wizardy or like they knew magic? Nobody especially looks very wizardy in here. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yep. 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 Do 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 do. It doesn't doesn't look like there is a Madam Mad, for example, amongst the people here. Okay, right. fair enough. Right. Okay, <laughs> um, that person got a twelve, uh, and they take it. They've got a big a base, which they're a halfling anyway, so like already standing upright <laughs> on a stool um, <laughs> to play this base, um, uh, or a uh, cello rather. Um, make it we'll make it a cello. And uh, as they start uh, playing, and it's fine, it's fine, but what's going on on your side is definitely more interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, 100%. Cat person holding a dagger and a lizard person doing magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lizard? <laughs> Offended. Snake person, no, sorry. No lizard, no lizard folk here. Lizard <laughs> folk. Uh, and uh, theremin. Uh, I'm rocking out. I'm kicking over stuff. I'm like doing stage moves, like <laughs> sliding on my knees. And, um, and then I crack out one of my spells. Uh, you may have to help me with this. Yeah. Um, where I have like pyrotechnic display of just fire. Just um, um, Thamagutri. So it's a mega thaumaturgy. So you can make, you can make, you can think, you can make um, fire sources Ooh. that are there blaze brighter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or in different that. colors. I also want to do my, cool. my power note, the ha ah! But I don't know how to do that. Can I uh, do that? You just, yeah, just say you want to, just say you want to do like a ha ah! um, Yes. Do you want to use Thaumaturgy to make your voice extra loud? <laughs> can I do that when the flames, so when the flames and I sing, but can, yeah, pff, you can no do break. three three effects of thaumaturgy at the same time. So, so that is what I do, and I'm, whilst I'm doing it, I'm like leaning back, going. Um, and would you please, for the sake of uh, of uh, these two lovely ladies, uh, describe how your instrument manifests itself? Yeah, I'm a bit confused myself. I could make it come out of nothing. Yeah, exactly. I play the guitar. I don't know if I have to cast a spell or anything. But it's it's like it's like uh, made of air, right? It's not yeah it's physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's oh, a cool. real Sorry. instrument that gives real sound, but it's sort of made that's out of air. That's actually quite there. Yeah. That's cool. That is so oh cool. yeah. That is part of your pact with uh, Balzabal, yeah, which I managed bad. to get right. <laughs> I just call him Dad. Just call him Dad. <laughs> Dad. Dad gave me a keytar for my birthday. <laughs> warm. Um, can you make a perform yeah, yeah, performance? All of those, all of those crazy things. Can you do oh. it with advantage? Sorry, I did seventeen. So plus what? Roll again. Advantage. So, oh, so oh, another one. Yeah, of course. I remember now. Yeah. Yep. Performance is charisma, so you'd add your charisma mod. So I just rolled a three, but it's the seventeen. Yep. Isn't it? What's Please your charisma? One. Do you have anything plus or, your charisma? Yeah, you don't. Yeah. Yours. There we have. Yours. Sorry. It's okay. Charisma. Oh yeah, plus six, baby. 
Yeah, hey. for his performance. So oh. that's a 23. <laughs> We're doing pretty well. Um, I'm so worried that I would do that and then my voice would like crackle and like the, the <laughs> like a one, like <laughs> nothing comes out. <laughs> Absolutely incredible, incredible uh, performance yes, right off the bat. Um, so yeah, uh, from your side, it, it's the it's the beginning, like the nature uh, harps, and then this dance begins, and then wah! <laughs> 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 um, the the lead vocalist on the other side is going to do something <laughs> gets a nine um <laughs> so start singing and then you come in and then go, go kind of goes like <laughs> extra extraordinary performance right off the bat uh from your guys next to the mediocre performance from the locals um can I go up and give him some smack afterwards and just be like, better luck next time, loser, or something? <laughs> well, actually, um, so you guys, you guys are doing this, this thing and you're creating this music. Everyone's like, wow, this is awesome. These guys are so cool. Um, A performance tomorrow will be like nat ones. But like, Im like immediately, like business starts picking up. People are like, yeah, this is great. We gotta get drinks and like, so uh, the you know uh, Eddie and Bobbin, the half wing proprietors, are like, yes, this is awesome. <laughs> um, however, uh, before you are entirely done, your set, um, you guys hear uh, loud bangs and crashes from the back of this place um and it, it's one of those things that like starts off sort of faint in the background not quite sure what that is and then just gets louder and it's just like boom boom and you hear this um coming from the back and people people go like wait what what's going on um Ooh. from the back exploding out of the door bigger than the door frame is a an 11 foot tall uh sort of waxy person with very sort of misshapen melted features we'll be uh, and sort of yeah like really um madam two swords on fire basically i'm guessing <laughs> not on fire doesn't look like he's melting uh just looks like his features have sort of been like like a very poorly oh, okay. crafted wax figurine um but enormous and sort of making this roaring sound and um in its hands it has obviously yanked um the good barrels safe the money out of the wall and brought it with him um, and you can sort of see it doesn't have like very defined feet or hands either, just like these sort of like bitney hands. It just kind of goes. It can't and, talk at all. Um, from what we gather from seeing this. From seeing this, it doesn't seem to talk. Um, okay. It breaks through the bar, throws people out of the way, and s disappears, uh, smashing through the front door of the oh, tavern. I say, like, that was our money. God. He went with our money. Yeah. We should pursue. We need to know what it is first. I turn to the proprietors and be like, do you know what that was? Do you have any enemies? Like, I start really questioning them, like, what the fuck is going on? There is chaos. There is chaos all around you. People are like, oh my god, what is that? So, like, in Ordinary that case, I'm just civilians. shouting it, like, to anyone I see, I just get in their face and just shout at them. Um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, people people are, uh, are screaming and running around. Uh, Eddie and Bobbin are sort of, like, first they were, like, cowering as this thing, like, smashed past them, and they're like, oh, God, what's going on? Um, and then they start trying to, like, calm people down and, you know, obviously bemoaning the fact that there's so much property damage that's been done and their money is all gone. <laughs> um, if you are questioning... Uh, them 
they're like, oh God, it's happening. He said it would happen and it really is. I just grab them by whatever clothing they have and shake sure. them violently. <laughs> Who are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, we're talking about, we're talking about Mockery, that tiefling who we ran out of town ages ago. I just instantly look at Callum's character, sorry, I forgot yeah. her name. The theremin, I'd be like, tiefling? My god. Is it one of yours? And just like, I'm so conflicted between talking to them and <laughs> I don't trust you. No, no, What are you no, doing? It, 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 he and his brother have lived in town for years and years. Uh, they they used to run the the wax emporium here in town. Okay. Ooh. Maybe we should. Can I uh, make? Sure. What check would it be? Would it either be Arcana or Intelligence to know what the creature was that just took the safe and ran? Or cool. money and run. You can make an investigation check, which is going to be more like, um, yeah, trying to, to figure out more of like the physical aspects of it. Or you can do an arcana check to see if it was magical in nature. Um, I will do... I'll do an investigation check to almost also see what kind of direction it went off into. Yes, that will work as well. Perfect. Not looking good. I see nothing. <laughs> it is a so investigation is intelligence, which is a twelve. Twelve. Twelve's okay. It's a. It looks like a big wax person. <laughs> Run like away a, from me! It looks like a big wax person, and it looked like it went straight out the door and then down the street. Yeah, I think Cloud was probably more interested in the fact that it stole her money. They like, seem, the, the, the halflings seem pretty upset about that as well. They're like, oh God, that's our life savings. That's, that's everything. We were going to pay you with that. That was. Uh, as soon that, as they say that, I uh, instantly turn to like rage and be like, it's one thing that happened in the forest. This is, I don't like human colonies, like completely going off on a rant, walking around the chaos that's in this tavern now. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't calm her down from this. This is absolute anger. I just walk out. Fantastic. I just walk out the door. <laughs> I, I, I try and strike up a deal where if we go and get it, then we can have 60% um, of it. And then we just take 60%. it all away. 60%? That's what we tell them. Oh. No, this is to you. Okay. I go, 50%. <laughs> 70%. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I look really offended by that. Like that, sixty percent is, is a lot. Um, go ahead. We don't okay. know that. We'll do sixty percent of all the money that they have in all the world. <laughs> <laughs> to Cloud, it's like a tavern in a bog-filled area. She's like, it's better than never having it back again. We can even okay, have no, can none of the money. Them? And plus, can I know tieflings. Them? They're my kind, so I can figure out um, from the people. They um. Can you give me? Can you give me a persuasion check with disadvantage? So roll two and take the lower. Of the is this two. against me or against against the... them? Against uh, okay. Eddie and Bobbin. Or five. As the lowest one. Yeah, fifteen was the higher one. Um, with a five, they they're kind of gonna go. Um, listen, it's great that you want. Uh, it's, it's great that you... <laughs> sorry. Can I can I hear sorry. this? Um, sure, you can hear this. Give me one second. Um, so to you, Thurman, they're like, look, it's great that you want to, you want to help us get our money back, but the, we, look, we, we know who it is. Like, we know who, who's set this creature upon us, so the sheriffs will take care of it, and we'll get our money back for sure. That's, so, thank you, but, but that's okay. At this point, I'd probably cut in and be like, yes, but we can do it quicker with no noise, and they would never know that it was you that sent us. They're going to use their previous argument, so that's not going to, that doesn't disprove what they're already saying, that the, the sheriff is going to get it back them. to them for free. Um, you, just hiss, you just hiss with them, and they're like, ah! Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, 
sorry, Daisy, uh, Thesia, you walk out into the street. What would you like to yep. do? I would like to uh, see exactly where it went because Cloud is getting nowhere and she's uh, annoying me. Perception would be the thing that I ask of you. Perception. Tears. Or investigation, if you would prefer that. Either or. No, uh, I'm not great in either of them. Um, so I'll go for perception. Uh, it's 16. 16. 16 is good. Uh, you can see big uh, misshapen footprints. Again, this is a wet area, so there's sort of, uh, there's lots of puddles and mud and things for tracks to be seen in. Uh, and you can sort of see um, that this 11 foot tall being uh, went down uh, the went uh, down the street. Uh, you'd have to follow on to see further than that, but uh, yeah. Uh, you're, you're, you're able to follow its tracks. Just thinking, because my character's barefoot. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to follow the tracks, but would she be able to feel, because like snake, um, <laughs> snake traits, would she be able to feel <laughs> the vibrations of it moving? That's very cool. Um, that's very cool. I, I am going to ask you for you with your with your sixteen perception. That's very interesting indeed. Um, what you feel is you feel the slight tremoring in the ground of these footprints disappearing. Um, you can you can feel that he or it rather went down the street and took a left, mm -hmm. right? And you hear like that, or you feel that, and then? Nothing. Okay, I would like to follow where I know it went to. Uh, fantastic. Um, you go ahead and follow uh, and you pull up in front of m and M's Emporium of Wiggly Wax, uh, where the footprints abruptly stop. So, there you go. Me and Theremin, we're still in the bar, aren't we? You guys are still in the bar. Uh, people are starting to calm down now, but they're like, we're going home until this can get sorted out. Um, and people are like, I call for the sheriffs, call yeah. for the sheriffs. I say, no, 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 not necessary. I asked them about, what was the name? Mockery. I asked them, yeah. what do you know? Um, so they sort of, they, they sort of, uh, Eddie and, uh, and Bobbin will kind of sit you guys down um, and kind of go like, okay, we'll tell you the story of, uh, of Mockery because, you know, there's no harm in it. Um, Mockery and his brother Murph uh, were... Uh, a duo act in in town. Um, mockery made wax figurines. They were beautiful and lifelike. Um, what voice am I using right now? Uh, they were beautiful and and, and lifelike. Um, and his brother Murph would use his magical abilities to uh, animate them and and play out all kinds of scenes uh, and plays and things. It was it was incredible. Uh, it was one of the main attractions of our town. Um, and then Murph, unfortunately, uh, he passed away, um, got, uh, got ill and died. Um, and Mockery was never really the same after that. He kept making his wax, uh, his, his wax statues um, and sort of had more of a museum uh, feel in their emporium rather than a performance feel. Uh, but it was never quite the same. And... Uh, he would always come in uh, when we started to get bands in, and he would mock them. He would he would bring the mood down, uh, and nobody liked having him around. So eventually, we had to bar him from uh, from the good barrel. Um, it's a very very sad story, really. But when we barred him, he was very upset, and he told us that he was going to find a way of. Uh, of getting back at us, and he was going to, uh, he was going to summon a wax 
he was going to summon a spirit into one of his wax figurines and wreak vengeance upon our establishment. Oh. So it looks like he managed to do it, even though he had no magical abilities at all uh, that we heard of beforehand. So Mockery had no no magic? No magic. Do you and believe it was all mercy? Had, had magic, yeah, that's right, yeah. Right. Interesting. Now, Mockery was an incredible artisan, uh, but no magical abilities. But you he know, he a lot of trade. Yeah. Well, he never showed any. Uh, he was always he was always bemoaning the fact that he couldn't join his brother in animating the the wax statues for their performances. It would have it would have helped a great deal. Could he have formed an alliance with someone that could give him that ability, or someone that could perform that ability for well, him? Well, I suppose I suppose anything's possible. Uh, that's. I, ima I imagine that's what he did in the end. Mm. He's got a house just out of town if you want to go and visit him. I think we should go. Okay, yeah. I try and pull Theremin out of the but before I, go, I would like one more drink. <laughs> As you're being pulled, you manage <laughs> to just... <laughs> uh, glorious. And they're like, don't get in the way of the sheriffs. They're going to do their job, all right? I just shout, shut up! <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to like, at that point. Um, I just want to get my money back. Yeah, I put Thurman inside and be like, what if? What if his brother never died? Like, completely, like, paranoia. Like, what if his brother never died? And it's actually him who's disgruntled and wants to... No, we should just check the house. And, like, don't continue with that thought. Like, it's completely crazy and she knows it. Like, it's something she talked to herself. But because yeah. there's someone else there, she just speaks. I think and I'm just, just dismissing you. I'm just like, yeah. whatever. Yeah, Who you knows? probably know me to be, like, talking Listen, to I'm myself so most of the time. The bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I probably wouldn't try and find Thesia. I'd probably go and try and investigate the house. I have, as Outlander, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I have, no, sorry, Wanderer, um, an excellent memory of maps and geography. Mm -hmm. So what, would mm -hmm. I have seen the house when we were coming into the village? Sure, yes. Uh, it's sort of a dark ramshackle ca cabin, basically, on the moor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 100%, you would know where that, uh, where that is. Uh, we'll, we'll, because we've split the party, we'll just cut back and forth. Uh, <laughs> for, Brilliant thing for a first time with a split the party, it's fine. For, for a Scooby-Doo-esque mystery, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fisia, so you are in front of M&M's Emporium of Wiggly Wax. What would you like to do? Uh, can I check the door for any magical, like, seals or traps? Sure, yes, please give me an Arcana check. What is Arcana going to uh, I believe it's intelligence. Oh, okay, I'm not that late. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 12. 12 doesn't seem to be any magical effects. Okay, um, I the want to. Locked. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to pick it. <laughs> give me a Thieves Tool check, please. <laughs> Uh, dexterity, sight of hand yeah. snap. Yeah. 15. Click. The door opens. Yes. Um, it's dark in there, isn't it? It's pretty dark. Cool, I have dark vision. That works. Hi, <laughs> nicely. Uh, Why did you even ask? <laughs> <laughs> Show off the ability. <laughs> No, someone might have left like candles on. I don't know. Mm. People are weird. <laughs> um, I want to enter the building. Which Great. I think is a very bad idea. Um, you know, you you go ahead and enter. There don't seem to be any muddy tracks of any kind. Um, coming in the front door. Uh, besides, the the creature was far too big to, uh, to enter, and the door was locked. Um, but you enter and. With your dark vision, you can see lots and lots of humanoid figures all around you, but you cannot quite make out the details. Oh, I need your regret first. 
both me and Days, as normal people, have a thing about like inanimate objects. So like dolls, oh. things like that. We hate them. Ventriloquist dummies. Mm-mm. Well, there are no this ventriloquist brilliant. dummies in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not know. It's <laughs> fine. No, it's good though. It's good. Yeah. So yeah, um, just lots and lots of very still people all around you. Oh, so glad that was my personal hell. Um, Through your feet, you can hear the footsteps of very light footsteps of a tabaxi and the footsteps of theremin as they I make their feel... way past. Um, as they make their way oh. past the street that you are down on their way to this house. Inside the building, um, you, you hear um, some creaky floorboards uh, and like some rustle wind. Uh, that could be somebody moving on the second floor or it could be an open window. Can I feel the vibrations? Oh, well, no, I guess I'm on the first floor so I can only feel what's under me. Yeah. Okay. Oh... Uh... Yeah, I'll just walk in. I'll just walk around. <laughs> you walk around. Um, give me give me an investigation. What are you what are you oh. looking for? Um What am I looking for? Any signs of like coins on the floor like that might have come out of the safe? Like cool. he may not have been gone through, but the safe might have moved through the room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um I feel like this is going to turn into house of wax. Probably. When the DM anything. laughs and makes that kind of face, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Come on. Investigations, intelligence. Um, eight. An eight. Okay. Um, you, you, uh, you go around. You don't find any coins or a safe or an eleven-foot-tall figurine. Um. You do manage to find a little holder with uh, with a candle. That's good because, ah, prestidigation. Um, yeah. I can light or snuff out a candle. There you go. I um, light it. With the limited light, uh, you turn and look at the nearest of these wax figurines, and you see a tabaxi staring back at you. Oh, God. <laughs> it looks like one of your tribe. Okay. Me? Oh. Um, it looks like, sorry, it looks like one of Cloud's tribe. Uh, but okay, you, you, she I was like, sorry. I'm not in the room. I'm not in the room. <laughs> She's not there. That's my, that's, sorry, that, that was, uh, I misspoke. Um, okay. Uh, this looks like a normal tabaxi to you. It looks probably. like a normal tabaxi to you. Uh, Whatever you think a normal tabaxi. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. would a normal tabaxi to her look like me, though? Because they're not in your world. Yeah, so there, there would only, you would only know one tabaxi. And you would know that there aren't really any other tabaxis, so. Oh, I'm trying not to miss a game, but, like, shit. Okay. Okay. Still um, wax features. Anybody else around you look, they look like various humans and halflings and... Just the tabaxi is that? Oh, okay, couple of them. There's just one tabaxi. Um, oh man, I kind of want to do a thing, but then... I want to stab it. You, you more than ha- you're more than welcome to stab it. Thank you. Um, do you want me to roll for that? You don't need. You don't need to roll. Um, Is where, it just wax all the way through? Where would you like to stab it? Um, in the arm. Great. Like just up here. Yep. Dagger goes in. Wax. Wax. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't come to life and start screaming. Or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was more. Ex- I was thinking maybe if I stabbed and pulled it out, it would bleed. It does not bleed. Okay. There you go. 
Okay, it's got so hard to be like slightly more creepy. Because she heard our feet. Are oh, we walking past it? Can we go in? But I'm not going to do that because that's meta gaming. <laughs> After hearing what's in there, <laughs> um, can I see the stairs that go up? Yeah, you can find the stairs that go up. Sure, I'll do that. Cool. It leads to another floor. Looks like there was a stage that was set up here, but now the whole thing is just kind of covered in figurines. Um, through these these statues, various characters from history. You can see like the recreation of. Um, you can you can see from your own religion. You know that um, the hunters of Malar are this sort of uh, famous sect uh, of people, uh, sort of founded by this guy uh, who was a wear bear called Zhao Dam. Uh, you can see a very poor approximation of what that guy would look like, um, uh, as well as uh, a couple of other. Um, sort of like a Kenku uh, next to him uh, and a Yuan T, but like sort of like what somebody who has never seen a Yuan T would imagine a Yuan T would look like. I'm very um, offended by that. Yeah, 100%. Um, and like other things like the, the, the recreation of the, uh, the battle of, with Lolf, which um, features a Dryder against um, oh. a High Elf and an Earth Genasi who are like famous people from history, but yeah, yeah, all, all these different like scenes that would have been reenacted. Great, mm. two of my worst things, mannequins and spiders. I fucking love this. A room. drider, <laughs> for your sake, Callum. Um, Disgusting. Upper torso of a dark elf and the lower torso of a spider. It's like the uh, like raccoon creature from Doctor Who. Yeah, enormous. Who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're massive. That sounds gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not nice. Um, and actually, like, Kenku is what I was actually going to play until I found Tabaxi. Kenku are little um, sort of like raven people who mimic... With no wings, now. but just like hands. Raven people? Yeah. The immersion has been broken. We're very sorry. <laughs> No, that's right. Immersion. I heard dry door, and I was like, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, no, as soon as I heard you say dry door, I was like, Daisy tried to put one of those in the campaign. Mm, 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 They're mm, scary. Mm, mm, mm. They're very strong. They're horrible. And scary. Yeah. Um, so how actually big is this room? It's like the Dryder to oh, scale. Huge. This is these are yeah, they're to scale. Um oh. so these these two floors are are massive. Um right. I think in that situation, you would feel threatened, even though they're inanimate mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, she will shapeshift to do cool. be her snake body because it makes her bigger. Like yeah. I think <laughs> the height she is at the moment is like five foot five, so she's kind of like an average height for like a humanoid thing. But like with the snake thing, she's like just just over six foot. So she's got a she defensive. Like, mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, she's not happy. But then it makes me louder. So, but cool. you slip, don't slip, find. Slip. I'm gonna save some time. You don't find any animate stuff in here. Nobody's staying here. None of the statues move. As scary as they are, they don't move. God, um, <laughs> I think then she just slithers away. Cool. She like just slithers down the stairs and gets back to the shop front, like brushes herself down, mm -hmm. makes sure, you know, everything's in order. And I think then she um, follows Cloud and Theremin's vibrations. Brilliant. Um, so you guys, <laughs> you'll catch up to them in a minute, but these guys have gone on ahead um, mm -hmm. to Mockery's house. Um, and this is, yeah, it's sort of like this dingy um, cabin hovel uh, out in the moors, sort of finding your, trying to find a footpath that is not, does not like randomly drop into bog is a little tricky. Um, Cloud is so like aware of this as well. Like she's pushed Theremin in front of her just so think, she knows if he walks into like a puddle, she knows where to sort of dodge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I'm just furious about getting my shoes dirty because they're like um, leather boots. And then, like, get uh, yeah. get these. You had to use press digitation to clean them. Yeah. Later. Um. So, is there anything I can do that can 
Uh, you, right. I believe, with your cantrips, you can't do anything to clean your own shoes. Yeah, you can just try to use a cloth, but you're gonna walk back out of this. Okay. Place Either minute, way, so. we're just like bumbling through the mud, basically. Yeah, basically. Great. But I'm complaining the whole time, mm. literally the whole time. It's like droning in your ears, like complaining. <laughs> then you just get sick of, I think. You'd probably just like... I just try and ignore you and just zone out yeah. and ch chain smoke cigars or whatever rock stars do. Cigarette. <laughs> Pipe? I don't Even know. Even at that, she's like, dirty, dirty smoke, <laughs> ruins the rainforest, dirty, dirty. Like, she's completely <laughs> against it, but she lets you do it anyway. <laughs> Glorious. Um, and yeah, you Does get to... Can we see the... Can we see the house from where we are? You can. You, yeah, you guys can make it up to the house. Uh, there's a light on inside. You can see like. I was about to say, can I stay sort of like 10 feet back? Yeah. Just to see whether I see any movement. Sure. Sort of, you said that there's a light on, but like to see whether yeah. there's any other lights, whether there's like shadows that go across it, just to see whether the house is, you know, someone's in there basically. Yeah, and I think I'm just a bit more kind of stupidly. Uh, I just run up and knock on the door because I just can't be bothered. I just want to get the money back. Great, and I'm the just, death like, glare cloud gives you. You see <laughs> one shadow cross over the light in the window, and the door opens, and uh, a, a, an older, sort of um, maybe late fifties, early sixties uh, tiefling uh, with with horns that curl back. Uh, sort of hunched over a little bit, looks up at uh, at you, Theremin, and goes, what do you want? While he's <laughs> speaking, can I make a perception check to see whether he's got any weapons or if he's doing anything with his hands? Sure, go ahead. Perception is wisdom. Six. Doesn't look like he's got any weapons on him. Then I move up. You can't. You can't really. You can't really tell. But it doesn't look like he's. He's wearing normal person's clothes. So then I move up to to sort of be half behind Theremin, just sort of like mm -hmm. poking my head around, like sort of see so what's going on. We're looking for mockery, right? Yeah. Find yes. out. I want some more information? I'm going to intimidate you. Um, I'm not sure the best way to do that. I can do. Uh, Arms of Hadar. Oh, you might kill him if you do that. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I thought I was just like, get my tentacles out and be like, what the f is mockery? But some of, some of the, the, the. You could just say that though. Thaumaturgy. I can't say that word. I could just say that, could I, and see if it helps. I mean, I kind of want to be um, really. More aggressive, intimidating, uh, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you use thaumaturgy, you can you can make your eyes look different. You can make your voice booming, like all kinds of stuff. To you could do both. Accent your um, your intimidation check if you'd like. So I kind of do that, and I, I'm asking him where mockery is, but also walk, trying to walk into his my house at the same time. Trying to Great. Push by. Great. Can you give me an intimidation check with advantage, please? Mm hmm. That's what I thought. Okay. Ooh, 15. Happy days. Um, so you, yeah, you fully push past him and he's like, well, there's no need to get so aggressive. <laughs> uh, I'm mockery, I'm mockery. All right. Oh, okay. So tell us everything you know about uh, wax and animal objects coming to life. And your brother, like, as he says oh, yeah, that, like, and your brother. What, what, what are you, what are you talking about? You want to, you want to know the entire history of the art? I've been doing this for so many mm. years. I don't know how to count all the years I've been doing it. At that, I say exactly what we've just witnessed, like a wax monster yeah. breaking out of a tavern with our gold. And I am so pissed off. I'm like, we took our gold. Our gold, do you understand? Like, Wow, Proper that, angry, like th that sounds that sounds absolutely terrible. The people who who threw me out of their bar and banned me from ever coming back. Their town got their their tavern got destroyed. I'm I am 
look at the remorse coming off of me uh, so much. But we are so innocent. Remorse. We are just mere travelers with a band. What cool. have we done to you? You're it is our gold that he has stolen. You've not like, done proper laying on it thick. Wasn't, it wasn't your gold. You hadn't done anything to earn it yet, but that's not the point. We did. We played. <laughs> we played yeah. our instruments. Well, and we know you've got beef with a good barrel as well. Absolutely, I got beef with a good barrel. They're, they're a bad barrel. They're a bad barrel bunch. <laughs> but do you have beef with us? I got no beef. Do you I want don't know us you to are. start? You're very scary people. <laughs> You're very scary people in my, my house. name is Cloud. I am a tiefling. This is. Tiefling. You're a tabaxi. <laughs> I made a mistake. I am a tabaxi. <laughs> this is a tiefling. He is one of your own. Do you want to see one of your own star? He's not one of mine. Because own. he has not got gold. He's not got Surely gold, but well, that's I'm so. Surely well, you have camaraderie between race. I'm, is this not what? your tribe? What? No, we're not. There's no tribe. Me and my brother, we that live here on our own. It's that's what 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 we did for the longest time. And when my brother died, and I needed a place to go, the good barrel that threw no, me no, out. No. I don't like him very much. All right, I don't like him. You very said much. we live. You said we live. We lived. We lived. He's dead. He's a dead. My brother is dead. All right. You're a, you're a very pernickety person, you tabaxi person, you. Uh, listen, listen, I, I'm delighted beyond belief that a strange wax golem has gone and destroyed much of their property. But if, uh, if it was to do with me, I do not know it. I, I pray for a good long time that my wax statues would come and destroy their good barrel, but it never happened, all right? Can I do this? Um, yeah, you can, you can arrive at this point if you'd like. Uh, um, I kind of oh. want to like push either of them away and try and charm, charm person. It's like, oh good, there's a blur. <laughs> <laughs> um, charm person, is that the spell you're using? Yes, please. Like Jungle Book. It's like Jungle Book. <laughs> exactly yeah, car like just comes book, in. Please. Um, wisdom saving throw, right? Yes. Fantastic. Oh. Uh, they got a 10. It gather ten. Um, wait, I forgot how to do this. Wisdom saving so throw. Against your you spell save DC. Eight. Eight plus your proficiency plus your charisma. So it should be like. Oh, they failed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Completely charmed. Well, uh, hello, madam. <laughs> <laughs> what a pleasure it is to uh, welcome you to my very humble abode. You guys look around this place now that you've pushed in. Um, it's, it, there is a fireplace with a sort of a cauldron bubbling, um, over it. Uh, there are all kinds of, like, it, it, it's obviously run down, um, sort of windows that need repair, beams up top that need repair, cobwebs and things. Um, but you can see that there is sort of a wax, uh, mannequin that has not yet been, um, designed. Mm. Uh, yeah, not been, um, carved or painted. Uh, yet, uh, you can see uh, there are just like a lot of weird knickknacks around. Um, mm. He sort of does his own sewing, so there's like some sewing stuff over on. Oh, that's it. Um, <laughs> he uh, there are like bottles of uh, alcohol uh, that are just like piled up in one corner. It's just like a slovenly. He, he, yeah, he's not having a good time. He's not having a good time. Right. Can I, I, I um, make... oh, go on. No, 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 you go first. I was just going to say, can I investigate whilst you're doing the talking? I yeah. kind of use that moment to kind of just look around and nosy through the stuff. 100%. And, uh, give, me, uh, give, me, give me a ye olde investigation check. Ye olde one? Ye olde investigation. <laughs> 13. 13. Yeah, everything that I've just said. Um, so do see... I add that to my... Do I add that to investigation? Yes, so yes. 14, you sorry. 14. Um, yeah, you, you look around. Um, while, while sort of he's captivated and talking to Thesia, um, you, you do notice that there is one thing in here that is pretty immaculate, and that is a desk um, on which are uh, a bundle of letters uh, wrapped up in twine. Uh, uh, you know, uh, sort of a, a nice inkwell and quill, um, and okay. uh, yeah, and some 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 drawers and things. So, 
Can I read them or no? Yeah, sure. Um, the letters seem to be, um, if, the further back you go, um, they're two different people, but uh, there are some from his parents, uh, and to and from his parents. Um, uh, and then like some of the more recent ones seem to be from when his brother went into the big city for a bit uh, and sent him letters from there. Um, there are a couple love letters from like an old girlfriend, an old flame with no idea what happened with that. Um, okay. She's certainly not here now. Uh, so yeah, just like personal effects. Hmm. Um, okay. Cool. I, I think. Yeah. Yeah. TC, uh, what do you, uh, you want to? Uh, so I was thinking why um, Theremin's doing that. Mm -hmm. um, as he's charmed, yeah. I'd like to ask him where they got the inspiration for their waxworks in the downstairs room. In the, oh, in the, in the actual. In the, yeah. <laughs> Ah, yes, mockery and mirth symporium of wiggly wax. Uh, it was, uh, it was a, it was a joint venture by uh, myself and my brother. I have the artistic talent I inherited from my mother, um, who liked to make um, sort of statuettes and sort of like actual like marble carvings in the city and got paid doing that sort of thing. Um, I decided to go sort of more, uh, when, when Murph discovered that he could sort of animate uh, dolls and things, we had this great idea that we could reenact sort of historical plays, morality plays, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and it was a really big hit. Uh, I made these wax figures and, and he would perform with them. Uh, he even went so far as to go into the big city for a while and did some, did some big performances. The Fall of Lulf was a, was a huge success. Um, for us, but then, uh, then of course, all of that changed. Uh, but uh, but in terms of inspiration, got inspiration from everybody I ever met. So at this point, I'm going to grab Cloud by the nape of her neck, <laughs> drag her, like put her in front of me, and like push, basically like push them together, yeah. and be like, and be like, this was in there. <laughs> so I don't as know what she is. I'm just that. like, yeah, yeah. as soon as you say that, my demeanor completely changes from being like jovial, kind of jokey, to a jokey. <laughs> well, the dagger was jokey. I wasn't going to use it, but completely like deadpan. Like, what? What are you thought you? I assume you don't mean. The actual person in front of me, my darling snake person, person who's charmed me. No, I'm sorry. I, I assume you mean the figurine. The likeness. The likeness, the, the tabaxi uh, likeness. How do you know that name? Well, because I met some of your people a long time ago. Her ears instantly go up and her tail, well, up and back, like in a defense, and her tail instantly goes like rigid, like. What do you mean, one of me? That's a very, that's people. fun. I gotta, I gotta, wait, let me get my sketchbook. <laughs> I literally get my claws out. Huh. <laughs> All right. Wow, so I'm holding you by the neck so oh. I can just drag you backwards and be like, she doesn't he's care. Charmed though. At this moment, she doesn't care. Yeah, but I'm uh, like, he's charmed to me, not to you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's a very simple story. People come into this town all the time and some of the people who came into town were of the tabaxi nature. And I met with one of them and I said, wow, this is a very interesting thing because I've never met somebody who is of the feline persuasion before. <laughs> and I said, do you mind session? if I get out my sketchbook? And they said, uh, okay. <laughs> but I bought them a few drinks and they seemed happier about it and I gave lots of sketches and then I made the wax figurine. Very popular figurine, I have to say. A lot of people are like, this is not a race. What are you doing? This is crazy out of your imagination stuff. And I'm like, sure, if it sells better that way, that's fine by me. I kind of push Cloud that way, like, yeah, uh, I've got <laughs> you. Um, <laughs> I don't I'll come back to the room at this point. Yeah, you're sort of, it's all the same room. So you're, you're, you're in the same room with everybody. Oh, that, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, darling tiefling thing, um, may I have your sketches? Oh, sketches. You are you talking to me? 
Yes. Oh, oh you want my sketches? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> of course, anything for you. Um, and he goes into the sort of the drawers in that desk and, uh, and pulls out, there are just like sheets and sheets of, uh, of sketches in all uh, just crazy numbers of sketches. Like, are you looking specifically for the tabaxi one? Are you looking for any old kinds of stuff? Tabaxi, lizard folk, snakes. Well, clearly you haven't seen one of my kind before, but... I don't know what you're talking it's... about. I have very accurate, very accurate uh, drawings from the, uh, from the annals of uh, sort of the Gorendian library of what the, you, the snake people look like. Uh, and then like kind of notices your eyes for a second and kind of goes, I may have gotten a few details wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so yeah, he sort of pulls out, um, he eventually pulls out, yeah, uh, uh, drawings of, uh, of this tabaxi that, uh, that the, the wax figurine was uh, that became uh, drawings which seem to have been sort of like uh, that, that transparent paper, the tracing paper. <laughs> so he, he sort of, traced over some library sketches of what UNT looked like to get inspiration for that. Um, there's one of, that, that looks almost like absurd of what he imagines a lizard folk would look like. And it's just like basically like a dragon head on a normal human body. <laughs> okay, I'll give the tabaxi stuff to Cloud. I feel like mm. she needs to keep her head because she's annoying me. Um, um, do I, sorry, just as you pass it to me, would I notice any names that he may have written as like a reference or? So this is where you get to tell me if there's anyone in specifically that you are looking for and what their name would be. I haven't thought that far. No, I know. No, I, haven't, <laughs> oh. I haven't thought very far either. Um, I guess like for sakes maybe the tobacco didn't give their actual name just like tribe leader or tribe healer something like that sure um so just whether they've given like on the mountain healer or on the mountain leader something like that on the mountain pathfinder is the name on the sketches on the mountain pathfinder okay so she knows right okay Oh, you crafty son of a beast. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd also like a tiefling sketch, please. So we have one of each. Uh, hands you uh, a picture of a very uh, sort of handsome looking tiefling who looks similar but not the same as himself. And he goes, this is my brother. Before, you know. <laughs> How did he what's die? His, what's his brother's name again? Murph. 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 Okay, got you. Murph. Murph. I've literally spelled it how it sounds. M E R F. Uh, no, -R that's not how I spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Murph. Murph. <laughs> Murph, which means merriment, meant happiness. Um, okay. And he kind of goes, "Yes, my brother. Uh, he, I'm very, very unfortunate, very sad. He, he, he did. He died of an illness." It happens mm. sometimes. Very sad. He had to be in sure quarantine. That, uh, the doctor saw it to him, and uh, and then he was because dead. I, because I don't know that she's charmed person. Can I just make an insight check on that? Sure. She has Probably told you. Check. She's told you that she's charmed him. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. You just weren't listening clearly. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Probably more interested in the fact that he had the tabaxi. There is that. Drawing. You, yeah, you were, so, you, she was holding your neck and you were like, Rah! at the time. <laughs> Give me a, let me have let me have No, no, so that's fine now. Uh, what about the letters, I, sorry? About the letters, can I like plop the letters on his desk and be like, where's your mum? And where's your, like, Come what on. happened to your girlfriend or whatever? Why are you on your own? You asking about my old flames while there's a perfectly beautiful uh, UNT <laughs> lady in the room that's uh you're gonna embarrass me <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that there might be a jealousy thing and you might have killed his brother and taken his power because of a girl or something or why do you think as you say those words thinking. as you say those words a pair of 
halflings with sheriff badges uh, uh -huh. come in through the door uh, and kind of go, well, well, well. So you have the same suspicions as we have. Um, these two are Ginny and Lida, the sheriffs of this town. Mm -hmm. And they go, well, I don't know who you, but you, you three were the, were the ones who were playing that, uh, that gig nobody can shut up about at the, <laughs> uh, at the Good Barrel, weren't you? Maybe. Yes, that's it. Well, listen, we got some questions for this uh, mockery person here. Um, but seeing as you're all here, don't see as why you can't stick around if you're investigating as well. A couple of extra eyes never hurt nobody. Um, That's very kind. Information you get for free. These guys are not very professional sheriffs. Yeah. <laughs> right. Perfect. <laughs> um, nice. They're not used to having to do their jobs. Uh, because the town is a peaceful little backwater town. Um, mm -hmm. They kind of go, right, Mr. Mockery. Uh, we, need, we need to know what, uh, what you were doing animating that there golem that went into the gold, good barrel and stole all that money and made off with the mayor. As soon as they start talking about, like, they think he animated it, I turn to them too and be like, we should go check this waxworks museum. Leave these guys to ask questions. They're clearly stupid. Like, and just be like trying to convince them like, mm -hmm. we've got all what we can from this guy, obviously. We should go check out his, his workshop and museum. I just like, been there, done that. You weren't useful. Nothing there. But it's a vaccine. Yeah, but we haven't looked. <laughs> yeah, like I'm trying to really convince them like, it's a bad scene. I need to look. I need to go and see. Okay, she needs to investigate the tobacco. Mm. Yeah, but you guys, you guys would probably just be like, why are you going on about this tobacco? Like, yeah, there's, there's, no, con there's no context check. for obsession at this point. No, Can there's we, nothing. Unless you want to make an insight check or something. No, you guys don't know anything. You just know that uh, Baxi are really rare. They're not in this part of the world. Okay. It is I think I just want to find yeah. out what the police are going to say. I want to find out more from what they have. So all right. We're all uh, conflicted at the minute, I think. Um, mm. Mockery is kind of looking over at uh, Thesia going, um, should I talk to these people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yes, be open and honest. But before you answer that question, I'm going to ask something that might be a little straight to the point. Is your brother's spirit possessing an 11 foot wax golem? <laughs> just like straight in there, just like doesn't even care anymore. It's just like, or is he alive? I don't know. No, he's definitely dead. Um, and if he has come back as a spirit, it's a little late. <laughs> but, you know, I'll, I'll be glad to have him back. He's telling the truth. He's, you don't need an insight for this because he's charmed by you. You know that he believes his brother is dead. Um, Bless me. Does it, yeah, he got thrown out a while ago. So if his brother has come back, it's late, apparently. Um, mm. But he, he would be happy to see him. That's right. I just um, kind of pat him on the head. Cal, you were, you were asking whether he'd killed his brother. I'd like to Suspicion. That's your suspicion? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, cool. And if, you, if you keep those letters with you, you can further investigate them a little bit later and find out details and stuff. Okay. Um, if you could give me a sleight of hand check to try to get them out without him seeing, that would be... Do I roll a 20 again? You roll a 20 and yeah. then add your sleight of hand. So Which is dex. Six. Yeah. Oh dear. Ten. I'm going to roll his per perception. But he is looking at Theseus, so I'm going to roll with disadvantage. Hmm. Doesn't see him. <laughs> Doesn't see anything. <laughs> we'll take this for later. Cool. 
Is, <laughs> is Theremin still waiting to see what like the sheriff and that ask him? Or are you mm. happy with the letters? I think um, the letters is good. We're kind of uh, exhausted all uh, questioning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But didn't they... So I just start walking towards the wax, mm. the Emporium, wherever it, the, what was it cool. called? The um, M and M. M and M, standing for um, wax. Mockery and Mirth. M and M's Emporium of Wiggly Wax. Wiggly Wax, yeah. I start walking towards there. With my knowledge and my uh, help as a wanderer, I just... Yep, yep, you know like... where it is. But didn't the two very useful sheriffs say he, the golem went off with the mayor? That's what they said. I didn't hear that, though. Like, to me, yeah, that's nothing doesn't matter. to do with me. Cool, so you start walking off, but the sheriffs, the sheriffs kind of pin up, like, not pin up, but like, they kind of grab the two of them both grab him by the lapels <laughs> and kind of go, now listen here, mockery. <laughs> we know you're up to no good. It's one thing to steal the life savings of two of the town's most, most lovely halfling men that have ever existed. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, a, it's another thing entirely to kidnap the mayor. Uh, and he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I've not, I've done nothing with the mayor. <laughs> so we just witnessed them taking the safe away. We didn't see the mayor go at all. And then you, you didn't see the mayor uh, go. No, you didn't. No, we just saw him go with the safe and the coins. Mm. Did I Let's see yeah. something, mayor? You know, he's wearing a top hat and a bow tie. Mm -hmm. um, a wax figurine. Of the mayor. Like, yeah, in the shop. Mm, roll me a luck check, if you'd be so kind. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight oh, D20. Just tell straight me what you D20. get. <laughs> this is where it's going to go all wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that was a natural one. Uh, oh, <laughs> usually nothing. <laughs> a, nothing. Na a natural one. <laughs> um... You can't remember what the mayor looks like. Oh, God. <laughs> you just saw him as food. Yeah. yeah food at that point. There was, you remember that there was a top hat, but below that, no idea. <laughs> it's a levitating top hat. Yeah. Okay, cool. Here you go. Right, shall I... Can I... I'm still there, right? You're still there. So I, can ask, I can ask him to, like, um, draw me a picture of the mayor. Because he does sketches. Do you, you want a picture of the mayor? I, I, I mean, I suppose I can. Um, the, the sheriff's kind of go, we can tell you what the mayor looks like. The mayor's, don't waste his time. We're questioning this guy here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the, the, the mayor is, a, is a, a dwarf with a sort of ruddy red-brown complexion with a beard and a top hat and a tie. I'm kind of like just squinting at them like, Hmm, maybe, maybe, I mm, no, no recollection. That's uh, not recall it. <laughs> Listen, like, Is there the reason that Mockery might have um, some beef with the mayor? Uh, there's, there's nothing that anybody's told you until up to this point that would make it appear that he has beef with the mayor. I think I'm going to ask Ticia to relay a question to him, to Mockery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm about um, his relationship with the mayor and whether he likes him or not. Okay. Uh, and I relay mm -hmm. that back to... Okay. You, you sort of, you sort of uh, say, hey, can you ask this question? And he just kind of ignores you. And then you ask, it's like, yes, of course. <laughs> he hates me. I, I intimidated him. You did intimidate him. Um, and he was, he was very scared until he was charmed. Yeah. And then everything else just kind of faded. Um, and he kind of goes, um... The mayor, I went to the mayor when I got kicked out of the good barrel to try to get that overturned. Um, but the mayor was like, it's their establishment. They can do whatever they want with their own establishment. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, the mayor's, um, the mayor's got a nice little place. It's, uh, it's just off of this other road. Um, I, I went and knocked on his door and we stood on the steps and... Uh, and he told me that there was nothing he could do to to overrule that. 
Uh, so that's my relationship with the mayor. I obviously I didn't like him for that, but I never had any real beef with him. Still, some motive. He looks at you and goes, "Who are you?" <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get back to drinking beer and getting paid. Amen to that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up, he picks up like a bottle off the ground and kind of goes like, and there's like a tiny little drop left, and he kind of. <laughs> he I think I'll give a ask. He looks at you. <laughs> Wow. You uh, can I have a swing? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't share, I'm Happy. selfish. <laughs> and the sheriffs are like, Bye-bye. right, we'll we'll continue to question this this fella. Um hmm. I think um we should go check out the mayor's house. So I leave and I try and uh, get the clouds to to go to the right place as opposed to the wrong place. You can catch Not up. Wibbly wax me, Jim. <laughs> I leave as well. I'm just so like, yeah. now. Great. You're not useful to him more. And there's witnesses. I can't eat him. So it's just like, wow. <laughs> 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 uh, when when the, the sheriffs you invent for exposition purposes save your other NPC by being there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for watching Race to the Battle of the Bands. Be sure to subscribe to watch all three of our consecutive campaigns and check back next week to see what happens in this one. Ooh. <laughs> Take care, guys.